Well, hello from my bedroom in Blind Channel. I honestly meant to film this video. Let's see, what's today? Today is July 23rd. I meant to film this June 16th or something before I came out here, but oh my goodness, was life hectic. You will see in upcoming vlogs of me packing and just trying to get everything sorted. But anyways, you are here because I'm going to talk about living and working in remote places. I mean, I guess that's why you clicked on this title. That's, that's what we're talking about. So let's uh, get into that. Hi, my name's Tiffany, and this summer I'll be working and living in Blind Channel, a remote community on West Thurlow Island, complete with a marina, store, restaurant, and more. Come along and join the adventure. So I'm currently in Blind Channel. That's where I currently work. Blind Channel, BC, um, but this is not my first remote job. I previously worked in Cayucat, BC, which you can never say without saying Cayucat because it just sounds so much cooler. I don't know. Anyways, it is on the northwest coast of Vancouver Island and it's mostly like it's a First Nations community and it's also a place where people go to do offshore fishing. That is what I was there for. Not to personally offshore fish, but to work at a lodge that did offshore fishing. So I worked there, mm -hmm, I don't want to age myself too much, I worked there while I was in university a, a long time ago, um, and the way I got that job was nepotism. <laughs> I mean, it's very true. My aunt's sister and her husband owned a lodge, they had a lodge, they had a cabin that they lived in, and then they had a guide shack, which was a shack for sure that all the staff lived in. And um, I worked as a house girl, which meant that I did cleaning, cooking, packing lunches, stoking fires, unpacking groceries, etc, etc, etc. Honestly, it was stressful <laughs> because the setup for that because it was a lodge, it was a fly-in lodge, although sometimes we boated them in if it was really foggy or something, but it was a fly-in lodge. And so we had like three day cycles. We had turnover or changeover day. So that was the day new guests came in and old guests left. And like literally the guests would fish in the morning. We would feed them. They would walk down the dock while they're working, walking down the dock. We are cleaning up from them eating and we are prepping food and getting it on the table for the group that is getting off the plane and walking up the dock. It was hectic. And then we had, oh, I think we called it shower day because that was the day that we would shower usually. <laughs> Propane, right? And um, then we had fish day, which was the day they sent out all their fish and then back to changeover. And it was hectic. It was insane, like three day cycles. <laughs> and by the end of the second summer, I completely lost it. So that was great, but you know, <laughs> survived. There, even though it was in the middle of nowhere, it was actually a pretty big community. Um, to get there from like the closest big-ish city was hmm, math. I think it was like an hour and a half on the highway and then probably 45 minutes on a gravel road and then like half an hour to 45 minutes on a boat. It was out there. <laughs> there was a post office there. There was a general store there. There was a float through coffee shop, which was very exciting. And we got groceries once a week from the um, Upchuck, which I think is actually called the U-Chuck, but we just called it the Upchuck. And that launched out of Gold River and would bring kayakers and stuff. So like that was that on fish days, we would also get fresh supplies from town because the person who would drive from town to Fair Harbor would bring fresh supplies when we brought them the fish. So logistics, it was all very cool. It was all very chill. I worked in the kitchen. I baked bread. I made desserts. I made food. I made sandwiches. All of it. <laughs> There was also some watching children. You know, it was nice. It was a family run thing. It was very busy. I don't know how else to say it. It was hectic. There was always something to do, but I do feel like I had a lot of time off during the day there. Like get in the morning, do work, couple hours off in the day and then get ready for dinner service or you just like, here's fish or chicken or something. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that. If you have any questions, <laughs> let me know down below. But I did that for two seasons and then many, many years passed. <laughs> I was living in Vancouver. I left Vancouver um, back to my hometown and I, w I work at a theater there and like a live performance theater. And I was like, hmm, I know it's gonna slow down in the summer. So I kind of want a part-time job that I can just do s to supplement this just for, just for the summer, it'll be great. So I go on Craigslist and, 
and I'm looking for jobs. And I come across this job that says storekeeper, blind channel. And I'm like, where's blind channel? <laughs> so I click on it and I'm like, oh, okay, it's remote. And I look at it, I'm like, hmm, I'm very oddly qualified for this job. I have worked in remote places before, so I get it, I understand. I was a manager at a Canadian Tire, so the retail aspect of it. And at the time, there was also like um, laundry service. The laundry services had to be cleaned. That was part of the housekeeper's job. It isn't anymore, which is so nice. Um, <laughs> but that was part of the job and that's a lot of what I do at the theater. So I was like, oddly qualified for it. So I remember after work one day, I went to McDonald's for lunch. I like finished up my resume, tip, 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 sent it off at the end of lunch, closed up my laptop, went over to Starbucks, got a drink there, opened up my laptop. I had an email saying, hey, we'd love to schedule an interview. And I was like, it has been 17 minutes. I thought it was really fast. And so I ended up doing an interview via Skype, which was great because I, the, the only thing I distinctly remember, it was two of my bosses interviewing me. But the main thing I distinctly remember is them asking me a question and me answering it and going, I nailed that question. And then they're sitting there smiling. And they're like, yeah, so you cut out. And I'm like, that's great. So anyways, <laughs> obviously I impressed them enough. They offered me the job and I came out here and um, I am the storekeeper. My tasks look significantly different than they did when I first came in. <laughs> I do a lot of the ordering. I do pretty much all the inventory inputting. I do a lot of the price correcting, all like back end stuff. I deal with the customers. I clean up the store, I stock the store, I face the store, gifts, 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 etc. Um, moorage, because we're a marina here. So unlike Cayuket, Cayuket, which was a fishing lodge, this is a marina. We have, I don't remember how many square feet, but we have like seven fingers and the inside. And we have fuel and we have propane, which is so great because <laughs> in Cayuket, if we were running out of propane, we had to send our 100 pound propane tanks into town, we had one extra one, and then replace them. So sometimes you'd be like, hmm, guess I can't shower till the propane gets out here. We're here, we fill propane, so it's just like, hey, can somebody fill the propane tank? So that's a lot better. So we have diesel, gas, propane, and then we have a restaurant. We're doing dinner and lunch now, which is fantastic. Last year we didn't have lunch because of that which will not be named. And um, a store. We also have cabins, and there's trails. <laughs> but yeah, it was so funny. So when I first came out here, I'll, I'll talk about that because <laughs> the contract specifically says, it's like a two month contract. And they're like, at any point, either party can choose to terminate this contract effective immediately. Okay, so I get picked up in town on a boat. It's, um, the boat is a mainlander. We run water taxis out of here as well. So <laughs> it's a landing craft, cool, new boat. Boss, boss is picking me up. His kids are there and the sous chef for that summer who did not last long but maybe we'll get into that another time but anyways so we all get in this boat and it's like an hour ish maybe a little bit more by boat by water and so it's like weird and awkward because i don't know any of these people the kids are super cute and they like to talk a lot and i'm like anyways we get out here i meet people on the dock who i'm like i have no idea what your guys names are <laughs> One of them is like my BFF now. <laughs> but um, my boss drops the guy off in this house, this is the round house, and brings me up to the back house, which is over yonder there um, at the back of the property. Great names, I know. This house, partially round. That's why it's called the round house. Anyways, <laughs> so the girls in the dock were like, oh, the house is a little messy, but don't worry. It's, it's normally not like that. That was a lie. <laughs> Anyways, so he drops me off. I take the last room because there's only one room left. And um, he's like, yeah, come down for dinner in the restaurant at like 6.30 or whatever. I'm like, okay. So I go down. I'm having dinner with the sous chef who we will name Jorge because that's what we call him for various reasons, which I will not get into at this point. Um, and it was awkward. He was talking about the server's breasts, about mine, about everything inappropriate. That, that's, 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 Anyways, that's part of the reason it didn't work out. <laughs> I digress. So the next day I come into work, they're like, yeah, come in at this time. So I come in and oh, oh, that night they told me that my boss who would be training me in the store, very German, hard to understand, very serious. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, he mumbles a bit, but he's pretty easy to understand. And after four years of working with him, 
I can usually get it off context. I'll be like, oh yeah, and people will be like, what was he saying? And I'm like, don't worry, I got it. So I go in. I thought when they said very German and couldn't understand, like accent, no, 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 just efficient. So he's like trying to show me what to do. And it's like this old till and you've got to punch everything in. So like someone's having a shower. Oh, I think shower was keyed in, but it's like someone's buying apples, 125, no tax, a pain, a pain, Moritz, this times the, oh, it was brutal. From like day one, I was like, we need a better system. We have a better system now. Um, <laughs> But, so I'm doing that training, maybe not the greatest. He's like, I'm going to pretend to be a guest. And he comes in and I'm like, yeah. And he's like, good enough. And he leaves. And so the first person who comes in, I'm like, so I'm like, these people I barely know. I'm like, hey, can you help me? Hey, can you help me? So we get through day one. It was pretty dead. It was pouring rain. So we get to day two. Day two, I'm in the store by myself. It's raining again. I see Jorge go past. And I'm like, oh, maybe he's going to get internet. And then I see him go get on a boat. I was like, okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> and it's pouring rain and it's dead. Day three, it's pouring rain and it's dead. And I go, oh my God, what have I gotten myself into? I cannot do this. I'm going, remember that contract? I'm going, hmm, any party can choose to end it at any point. And then the next day the sun came out and it started to get busy. So it was fine. It was wonderful. Obviously, <laughs> this is my fourth season with them, but I have come out in the off season. So like at the end of my first season, they said, oh, hey, we all want to go to a wedding in the Grand Caymans. Can you like come out for this two week period um, so that we can go and just like be here to answer phones and deal with people? I was like, sure. <laughs> so I did that. November my first year and then about in February I was talking to one of the girls who lives out here year-round and she said hey Have you told them what your intentions are for the summer? And I was like, oh, no, I, I guess should I I just assumed okay, okay, so I email my boss and I go Started very formal. Yes. Hello. I would like to return and I was like, no, 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 no So this is the email I sent I go dear bossman My intentions this summer are to pet dogs and come back to blind channel, but only if you'll let me pet dogs and he responds to me and he goes, sounds great. We could certainly use a dog petter out here. Everyone, especially dogs, would love that. So, I mean, I guess I'm not a storekeeper anymore. I'm a dog petter. <laughs> but yeah, so I come back for that second summer. And then in October, my other bosses were going away, I think, to Spain. So I came out for like a week and then I went back to town and I came out for another week and I ran the election booth out here. I had to do training for that and stuff um, because it's an election site here. It was hilarious. There was like 15 people on the list and eight people showed up to vote. And at one point I was like, sorry, my, my co-person is like having lunch. I'll just have to call her so she can come over so you can vote. Very chill, very fun. Long day though, considering like, I think it's like we started at like 6 a.m. and we went to like 7 p.m. or something and there were only eight people. <laughs> but yeah. Good times. My boss wouldn't let me watch a movie though. He like made me do work. <laughs> anyway, so then I came out again. So that's 2019. I came out again in February of 2020 for a very exciting reason. We got a new till system. Digital. And so I was here for like 37 hours and I put everything into the system. 12 hours nonstop etc 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 like just going like crazy I left I went I got back into town at like 8 30 and went straight to work it was the most exhausting day ever and like a couple weeks later my boss texts me and or emails me and goes we had to get a new system this one can't do decimal points <laughs> so all that work for almost nothing they could move some stuff over but not a lot and then I came out again in the summer and continued to set up the system, which was great fun with inventory and everything. And, um, and then I was here again over New Year's to do year end inventory and just to hang out, which was nice. And uh, now I'm back for another summer. So I love it out here. Honestly, if I could be out here full time, I would be. There's something so special and so nice about living on an island kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's only an hour away. It's a lot less remote than Cayuca is, but because they're the only people that live here, like this marina is all there is here and, and the houses that they live in, it seems so much more remote. And I guess like, I don't know, it's kind of about the same 
water dis I don't know anyways so that's my story of how I got into working remotely and how I got this job and like everything I've basically done at this job currently like I said I am dog petter slash storekeeper <laughs> I pet so many dogs so many dogs um we have a post office here as well which is um how I get fun things do I even have a mail near me wait which is how I can like still buy things like this DJI OM4 that I got today in the mail <sighs> mail is great although I will tell you if you do work or live somewhere remotely where there is a post office flat rate shipping or free shipping is your best friend because honestly there's like been some things I'm like oh I need this I should just get it from Amazon and the only option is like $30 or $60 and I'm like it's that's not it but yeah so if you have any questions please feel free to drop them below I just rambled for about 15 minutes <laughs> D did I cover things? I don't know. Did I miss a lot of things? Probably. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to try to do more videos about the logistics out here and like the trails and stuff and maybe the accommodation if I can sneak into them when there's nobody staying in them. We have three cabins and a house that we rent and um, it's just a very beautiful magical place and yeah. I love coming back here. I'm dead exhausted today. I will tell you, I am basically halfway through my season. The borders are gonna open in a couple weeks, so who knows what that is going to be. But I'm basically halfway through my season and I am gassed today. But we are filming this because I put it off for far too long. I gotta edit stuff and logistics, internet. I'll talk a little bit about that right now. It sucks. It has especially sucked the last couple days. Like. One, we're getting towards the end of the month, so it starts to choke off because normally about halfway through the month, we use everything. And two, we have a lot of people here, so bandwidth is just terrible. So I need to edit my vlogs and then I mail them out of here, which is like so random, but it is what it is. But I'm gonna go now. I'll talk more about, I guess, internet and other things later. <laughs> I don't know, I just need to sleep, to be honest. <laughs> this is... We're coming up on what we like to call out here the August crazies, which is August hits and everybody just loses it. But the problem is we've been short staffed this summer and last summer because of that which will not be named. And so we kind of hit August crazies quite early. My friend and I were um, bringing some people from a cabin in late <laughs> the other night and they had like so much stuff and we had to do like two golf cart rides and we're like trying to hold on to stuff and we just can't stop giggling and we're like, we literally were like, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. And um, yeah, anyways, the guy tipped us great. So that was awesome because I really don't think he had faith in us, <laughs> which is fair enough. But on that note, I promise I'm a good worker and um, I'll see you in the next one.